All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to resize a 80 inch screen door. We're going to cut it down and make a custom door out of it. We've got to bring it down to 77 and three quarter inches. And we're going to do that with a miter saw. And we're going to show you how to do it right now. All right, before we can do some cutting on the frame, first thing, we've got to pull the spline out of that track on the top and the sides. So we start with the top, we work our way down, and then we pop on the side. But you got to be very careful because you don't want to puncture the screen. If you puncture the screen, you're going to have to get new screen to put on there. So we're trying not to do that. We're going to pull it about 10 inches down on either side. We're going to pick the thing up, and we're going to pop up that spline on the other side. And then we're just going to pull it down. And then very gingerly and carefully, we want to pull the screen out because we don't want to rip it. And there's not a lot in there. I mean, they already trimmed it. So you've got to be very careful when you do this and make sure that you don't rip the screen. That is an important point. All right, now we're ready to uh, pull out those hex screws, and you're going to need a, uh, you know, the right bit to put on your, uh, on your drill to get them out. You can see that there, uh, there's four of them on each side, and like I said, they're hex screws. They just pop out. Don't want to lose them. Pick them up. Stick them over there where you know where they're at. All right, so we got the one side uh, screws out of there. Now we got to flip the thing over. And we're going to pull the other screws out. Uh, you got to take all eight of these screws out before you can really uh, take the uh, top of this off and begin to cut it. Make sure you don't lose them because you're going to need them because you got to put them back in afterwards. All right, so put them in a safe place. Okay, so now we're ready to pull the top off. And when we do, you're going to see there's this silver triangular thing that sets in there that the screws lock into. And uh, your top, you don't really have to do anything with because we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the angle on it. But make sure you don't lose those two. You're going to need them because we've got to put them back in there once we've cut this. And uh, so we've got to shorten this by about, uh, well, it's 80 inches. And so we've got to go to about 78 or 77 and a half. And, uh, and then afterwards, we're going to put those back in there. Of course, don't lose them. Okay, we got the top off, and now we're ready to go ahead and cut that on the miter saw. Remember, measure twice, cut once. So we're going to go to 77 and 3 quarters. All right, we're splitting the difference on that 78 and 70 a half. So we're going to measure it, and that's where we're going to cut it. This basically looks like it's uh, about 45 degree cut, but we're going to use the top as a measurement just in case. And we're going to use that angle, and we're just going to go ahead and draw a line on both sides with that. So now we've got a nice line on the end of that side. Now we've got to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and measure it out, 77 and 3 quarters. Again, mark it. We're going to use the top, just like we did before. And we're going to go ahead and draw that 45 degree line on there. Even though we can set the miter saw at 45 degrees, it's always good just to double check and make sure that you got a good, nice, clean line on there and that you're cutting it to match your other piece. So we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. We're going to draw it right on there. First, we're going to mark it, and then we're going to put it right on. All right, once we got both of those lines drawn on either side, we got our screen pulled back. Now we just got to pick the door up, take it down to the miter saw, and set it on there so that we can cut it. You can see we've got it set on the floor, and uh, we're going to use these uh, two by fours just to brace the frame of it as we put it on that saw. This way I can lay the frame right on that block of wood there, and that's going to hold it up, and it's going to be about even with the saw. Okay, so now we're just going to line her up with our miter saw, make sure it's nice and straight. We've got our line, and we're just going to bring it right through that aluminum and cut it on that perfect angle exactly what we want which is about a 45 degree angle and uh, it takes a little bit but we can get through it and bam once we got that we got that one side cut ready to go now let's do the other side all right so anyway we flipped it over onto the other side we're going to do our other cut and uh, we had to had to mark it again because we marked it on the same side on the other one so we couldn't see it so we had to flip it over and do it but anyway we're going to go ahead and cut her and uh, once we get that cut then we can put it back together and put this uh Put the spline and the screen all back together and we're ready to hang the door. Here we go. Cutting right through that like a hot knife through aluminum. And then once you get that uh, cut, you know, you're going to have to file it. So you want to make sure that you get it nice and smooth. You don't want any jagged chunks of steel sticking off of there. So you're going to have to work on that. I'm speeding it up here, but uh, it takes a while to do it. So make sure you do it correctly and you got to clean the channel out too because you got to get the spline and the screen in there. So get all of the sharp 
chunks off of there. All right, so anyway, once you've got that all cleaned off and it's ready to put the top on, before you do, it's always good to just double check and measure and make sure that you fit in your spot. So that's what we're doing here. And it uh, looks like we're good. All right, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put her back together. Only trouble is we got to file the inside of these because these won't slide in there. So you got to make sure you get that inside nice and clean. So we're going in there and we're going to just get all the chunks out of there so we can fit our, uh, our little brackets in there that connect to the screws. All right, so anyway, it's a little tricky figuring how to get these things in, but you got to get the little screws in those little little areas. So you get top screws and bottom screws and you got to get her in there, but you're going to you're going to find you're like, what the heck? How come that's not going in there right? So we had to play with it a little bit to get it so that it would slide back. And you can see here we're having a little bit of trouble getting that baby in there. So after playing with it for a while, we figured out which configuration is correct and uh, slid it in there just to double check and see if that screw would fit in there. And that's right where it's supposed to be. So then we had to pull it out and then we had to measure where we have to drill our other screw hole on the side of the uh, screen door frame. So what we did was just put that little uh, uh, that little um, catch device and marked exactly where that channel is and then we're going to go ahead and get our screw hole drilled and then we can go ahead and uh, mark the other side, do the exact same thing and put it all together. So we're going to go ahead and screw one screw in there and then we're going to put another one in there and now we've got our connector, our corner connector, insert it on the side. And now we got to flip the other side over and do the exact same thing. So we got to first, we got to put it in there. And just to make sure that we've got, oh shoot, we got to file it because you know there's always a problem. You always got to find a little chunk. So we couldn't get it in there now. All right, so now we've got it right and we can mark our spot and we can go ahead and drill our hole and we can go ahead and uh, put that top back on, screw it all together. All right, so anyway, the corner is that one little area that he's got his thumb on. So you got to slide it in there. And there we go. Now it's going in. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our screws in. You got to tap it with the hammer a little bit just to make sure that it's all the way in and that those screw holes line up so that you can put your screws back in. All right, so once you've got your corner attachment slid in there, then you've got to put your screws in. Spoiler alert, do not connect your corner attachments to your sides of your screen door. You have to connect one to the top and one to a side and then slide it in. Otherwise, you're never going to get the thing on. So we figured that out. We had to take the screws off on the one side, pull the thing out of there, slide it into the top piece, and then slide the top piece on the side piece and on the other side piece. So we went ahead and slipped it in there, just like that. And then once we got it in, which took a little doing, then we could go ahead and slide it in there and screw it on. So now we've got a corner attachment screwed on to one of the sides of the screen door and one of the corner attachments screwed on to the very top of the screen door. Okay, so now comes the hard part. You've got to get the corner attachments that's attached to the top to slide in on the side, and you've got to get the side corner attachment to slide into the top. So you've got to do that kind of simultaneously. And as you can see, we're trying to squish them in there, but you don't want to screw anything up, so be careful when you're doing it. And as always, something doesn't line up properly. So we had to get the drill and uh, kind of drill another hole there so that we can get that screw in and tighten that corner down. All right, so once that's done, all we got to do is get our screws in there. We're going to start on the side first and tighten that bad boy down because we got one screw on the top, as you can see. And that's going to pull it together in the corner nice and tight on that 45 degree angle. We're going to grab the other one and we're going to go ahead and put her on that top. And bam, we got one corner on and tight and looks good. Now we just got to do the other one. Exact same thing. Put the screw in and bam, Bob's your uncle. One, two more and we should be good. Nope, we had to drill some more. <laughs> of course, never ending little problems that you have to kind of overcome, adapt, and improvise. And that's what we're doing. All right, so we got the sides and the top connected. Now all we got to do is put the screen back in. We just got to lay it out and then uh, use our roller to push that spline in and uh, attach it. 
and then we got to cut off the little edges there and then we just got to come up pull it right through there and put it in that channel and make sure that we've got it nice and tight and this takes a little bit of practice but you can do it and at the top we had some extra because remember we took off a couple inches and that's why we've got to trim it on the sides we didn't have to trim it but uh, now it should be ready to go we should have a beautiful nice custom made screen door bam all right there you go now you got a custom cut door for our custom built frame and now we just got to make sure that it fits in there perfectly so we're just going to slide it in there and take a look at the sides pull the hinges in and uh, that one there we didn't pull it <laughs> pop that in there and i would have to say so far so good we're looking pretty good there a couple of shims under there just to bring it up to make sure that it fits and uh, i think we're looking very good very good now we can hang this bad boy all right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on how to do stuff. Peace out.